Hello everyone, and Zane here and welcome to my brand new series, Smart Farming for Grand Company Seals. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to farm Grand Company Seals while making some guilt on the side with your free company and your free company workshop. Now, like I said, this is only for free companies, so if you don't have one, you can't do this. With 6.1 coming with Ishgard Housing, this is to give you guys a chance who do not have a house to get a house so you guys can take advantage of this. But for those of you who have this done already, I'm going to show you guys what to do with your materials that you're going to be getting back from these submarines. Instead of putting them on the market board, which is a complete waste of time since these materials are pretty cheap. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is have your submarines ready to go. And you're also going to need three different areas unlocked. The unidentified derelict, wreckage of the hedgeway, and then the wreckage of the discovery. So if I show you from my previous log, we have the unidentified derelict. Then we have wreckage of discovery one. And then the wreckage of the headway. So as you can see here, the materials that all the items that you'll be getting for gill are going to be the salvage earrings and the extravagant salvage earrings or bracelet or rings or necklace. This is where the gill portion comes into play. The other thing for the Grand Company Seals comes with these items here, such as rubies, sapphires, diamonds, gold ingots, and platinum ingots. So see if I can find a submarine who brought back the ingots. Alright, so here we have the gold ingots. And this one brought back more of, of the salvage items. As you can see here, they go for 30,000 to 27,000 to 35,000, so on and so forth. And here are the diamonds for this one. But they can get, bring back also platinum ingots as well. And here's the necklace for 34,500. So the better your stats on your submarines, the higher chance of you getting a crap ton more of those. You also are going to be needing Master Buck number 4 from Goldsmith and Alchemist. And you're going to be making the Scintillant Ring of Aiming. This is the easiest one, in my opinion. So as you can see here, I've been doing this for quite some time. I have 999 gold ingots plus. So I have a crap ton of these. Now the dissolvents are not too hard to make. You need galbanol, zeolite ore, gill, catnip, and the mist dill. These are get through poetics, or you can exchange your sky builder scripts to get the sky pirate spoils. I think it's steel to get a crap ton of these. And these are gatherable with your miners. So you're going to need the folklore books for the hinterlands is where you get these. And the scintillant ingots, you are going to be needing platinum ingots, which I said you can get through the submarines or you can desynthesize the coil gear, but you're most likely going to get battle materia instead of the platinum ingots from the accessories. So it's probably best to get through your submarines. Now the scintillant nuggets can also be gotten through the spoils from the diadem, through the sky builder scripts, or you can get them through poetics in Idleshire. The aluminum ore can be gotten in Azislaw, so you're going to be want to get the, I think the Albathian folklore book to get these. So if we go into our gatherer log, I can check right now under folklore. Yeah, so you want the Albathian one for the ore. And let's see for the Zeolite, you also want the Dravinium one as well. But check the market boards to see if they're a little bit cheaper. So the good thing about the dissolvents is that they come three per synthesis. So you don't need too many of these to get a crap ton of dissolvents. So the dissolvents is the easy part. So all you need to do is quick synth a couple of these. I'm just going to do 10. 
Doesn't matter if they're high quality or normal quality, they'll be the same when you pass them into your grand company. Right, so when you're sending out your submarine to get your salvage items, they should come back with also platinum and gold ingots, as well as the stones to use in making Grand Company seals by making your scintillant rings of aiming. So this is a byproduct of getting the salvage items for Gil. Now if I go into my company chest and look up my history as you can see here I've been stocking up on these let's see if I can have all right so here's a couple I have had in the past and the gill is from these pieces as well as you can see they go down further I have more pieces more gill I put in here more salvage items, more gill. And this is back in 2022, back in early March, and so on and so forth. So basically this is how I ended up getting my Nightmare Pegasus from uh, Palace of the Dead. I just bought it for like 14 million off the market board because I was just using my submarines to get those salvage pieces. If you wanna know how to unlock them, there is a site on reddit that you can go to if you just go on to your web browser and punch in uh submarines there should be a post from reddit that you can look up real quick on how to unlock all the zones and all that all right so now i'm going to jet set over to my grand company with my ticket also make sure you have your seal sweetener buff up as well from your grand company also you can do it from your squadrons and I will show you guys how many Grand Company seals you get from the scintillant rings of aiming. All right, so here we are, my Grand Company. So let's turn these in. So these are going to go for twelve fifty a piece with the seal sweetener. We're getting thirteen seventy five. So every ten, you get thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. So, like I said, if you're not getting the salvage pieces, you'll be getting the materials to make these rings. Then what you do, go to your quartermaster under materials and go ahead and buy your duck bones. These go for 360 a piece. So you'll be getting gill either way. So you will always get either gill or materials that get Grand Country Seals to make gill. So either way, you guys are going to be using those materials in some way, shape, or form. Instead of just throwing them on the market board or vendoring them. Use them to make more profit. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I've been more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure you hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button is where you guys don't miss an upload. And join me on my Discord server by hitting the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to support me further. Both are completely optional. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And always remember to keep forging ahead. And good luck.